Uh, well, hi everyone. Uh, it's a uh, new tool uh, time uh, once uh, once again. Um, this time I want to talk to you about um, polishing. Uh, if like me, um, you may build lots of cars or lots of uh, models with uh, a surface which you like to, to try and get a good uh, shine onto. Um, you may have already developed a, uh, a workflow yourselves and some products to uh, to sort of polish the surfaces of your models to get that you know that kind of showroom shine which you you often often, often see. Now again, I've been looking around for um, I guess something that I could uh, maybe move into, and of course, good old Display uh, do have a product which uh, I've been testing for uh, for a couple of a uh, couple of weeks. Now, what it is, uh, it's basically a, a polishing uh, solution or a polishing system. Um, this is what it looks like uh, in, its, uh, in its boxes. Um, so there's four different uh, compounds, or there's four different grits, I guess. Uh, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, and 10,000 uh, to finish off uh, with, the, with the polish. Um, the idea being that you move through each of these um, different grits to uh, to to move through the shine of of the service that you're actually polishing. Um, let me get one out of a box, and I'll, I'll show you exactly uh, what it looks like. I say it comes uh, it comes in its uh, own little uh, little dispenser. Um, this is the two uh, two thousand uh, grit uh, version. Uh, you get uh, ten uh, milliliters in each uh, in each one of these uh, pump uh, pump bottles. You also get a, uh, a polishing uh, cloth uh, cloth as well, uh, which uh, I didn't quite expect, but that was kind of uh, a very nice uh, a very nice addition. Um, so I've been testing this for for some time, and um, what I've uh, been testing it for for this uh, for this video is on a, uh, a car kit which uh, which I was finishing. So what I've been doing is moving through the the system just to uh, polish the uh, uh, surface of uh, this uh, this car, which I'll just bring over bring over now. Um, so I've used this as my sort of test piece. Um, so I put this piece of uh, masking tape on. Um, this side hasn't been polished, this side has. May be difficult to see on camera, obviously, um, but um, the the effect, I think the more you polish, uh, the better it would get. Um, and this side of the surface absolutely uh, has a better shine. Uh, it certainly takes out the imperfections as well, uh, which was uh, which is quite a surprise really for me. Um, I haven't used any kind of system like this before, and uh, that worked uh, that worked rather well. Uh, let me just put that down for a second. As I say, you get uh, the the polishing uh, cloth itself. Uh, let me just get some of the material out uh, of its uh, uh, dispenser, just so you can see what it's like. So it's this kind of sort of. Uh, it's a milky consistency. Maybe it's a little bit. Um, it's not quite as stiff as a, a toothpaste, um, but it does have that kind of creamy consistency. Um, all those are the the the, uh, the same uh, in their in their bottles. So as I said, they just have different um, uh, different grit uh, properties. Uh, and the idea is you you. Whoops! Uh, before I lose that, um, the idea is you just go out your model, and uh, that's uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. <clears throat> just to excuse me, just to finish uh, finish off the actual surface itself. Um, it's. It's one of those things that you you keep polishing until you do see um, that the material is actually doing doing its job, um, and then you move to the next one, and and so on and so on until you get to the you know, the top uh, top grid of ten thousand, which is really an end an ending polishing system really. Um, but when you've when you're kind of putting the material on, um, and you do get to, to see how the surface um, let me just wipe that excess off how the surface does start to sort of shine and just start to um, you know do have that that kind of finish which you're which you're kind of looking for um, as I said uh, it, it's a four-part system um, they've chosen these grits I would imagine with, with great care to uh, to make sure that they do the uh, do the job as I said, I've been testing it with uh, with this uh, this one for um, for a while just to get sort of feel for it and see if it was going to work uh, work for me, um, and it, it's certainly an improvement, absolutely, um, particularly for buffing off any kind of imperfections in the in the paint. Um, maybe I was a little bit careless with my airbrush, for instance, uh, or um, if you're going to put uh, this material on with uh, this these paint finishes on with rattle cans, for instance, um, you know that uh, that kind of thing. Um, so that's the the polishing system from uh, from from Dispay. Um, what uh, what I will do is this is a sort of uh, part one of this video. Um, I'm just going to pause uh, pause this video for a second while I go and get uh, another product which I also want to show you, which is a kind of companion uh, to this, um, but also has I think other other applications as well. Uh, so I'll I'll see you after the break. Everyone and uh, welcome back uh, from the uh, intermission uh, or the break. Um, 
what I'd like to show you next with uh, this uh, polishing uh, system is I guess what's uh, what's kind of next. Um, you know, Dispay have um, kind of moved things on, and they also offer a way to uh, I guess to automate this process uh, to uh, to a degree. Now, what I mean by that is um, they they basically um, offer an attachment for one of these. Uh, many of you have um, one of these um, uh, sanding pens. Um, it's uh, it's very versatile uh, for uh, you know for that process. But what uh, Display have done is they've kind of thought, well, you could also use this for for polishing, couldn't you? If you had the appropriate uh, heads uh, on the uh, on this tool, and that's exactly what they've done. Uh, let me put that down for a second. Uh, what they have are, are these uh, these uh, sponge uh, polishing. Um, they come in a couple of varieties. Um, this is the full set, um, but they also come in. Um, uh, several different kinds of sets which give you the different kinds of polishing grits that you you want um, so if you wanted to to buy one specifically you don't have to buy the entire set again just to get the one um, but on my store at the moment I just have this complete set which I think is probably more versatile and certainly a good idea for for beginners if you're just going to start out with it to try it out um, you want the full set uh, to, to have a go with uh, so let me get out of the box and I'll show you exactly how, how this works. What you get is, if I can get it out of the box, let me push that a little bit. There it is. So what you get is this tool. Uh, basically it fits onto the end of the uh, the grinding pen um, and it's also Velcro on the end and that's what the uh, sanding uh, sponge is attached to. So let me just put that down for a second. What you get in the box is, um, let me put it down there, is several kinds of um, sanding sponges. Uh, if you feel the surfaces, they are, are quite different. They go from a fairly coarse one all the way to a very soft one. So the idea being, they are kind of the sponge version, I guess, of uh, of, of these kinds of materials. But the idea being that um, depending on how you want to polish a model, if it needs a lot of polishing to get rid of some surface detail, whatever it is, um, you can choose one of these sponges to uh, to to do that job for you. So the idea being, um, let's go for say something uh, something in the middle. Uh, so one of these sort of semi, um, yeah, you know, it's got that's got it's got some surface on that, but it's not as soft as say um, the blue one, for instance. So the idea is um, you velcro that to the end of um, the the attachment, and then that goes onto the end of your uh, your grinding pen. Let me just get the Allen key out, and so I can secure that on the whoop, where's the uh, where's the grub screw? There we go, uh, the other side. There it is. So let's put that uh, put that uh, put that away. Okay, so that's secured on the end of uh, of the pen itself. So let's just switch that on, and there you go. So that's that's the that's how it uh, it work in actual pr in practice. So what do you what do you actually use it for? Well, you you take one of your uh, liquids. Let's take the uh, two thousand compound for instance. Um, let's just put a little bit of that on on the models on the model surface. Uh, switch it on, and away you go you basically automate the entire process and uh, as I said once I, once I started using this um, would you go back to a cloth um, would you go back to a, a manual uh, manual system probably not um, I mean many of you just like me you've uh, you've probably stood in garages and watched uh, you know professionals uh, use those huge sanding uh, devices uh, when they respraying cars and it's kind of the same principle, just on a very, very small scale, and designed for you know, for us uh, for us model makers. Now you can put as much pressure on onto that as you as you want, uh, just to get the kind of finish uh, finish you want. But it's very cathartic, I must admit. Uh, it really is. Uh, you know, polishing surfaces like this um, with um, with this automated kind of system, it's uh, yeah, it's it's very, very good indeed. Um, um, so that, that's what you basically do. You you just attack the surface with with these um, to get the kind of finish that you're uh, you're looking for. And of course, when you want to to move to to a new grit, it literally just pulls off the pulls off the velcro. Uh, let me let me put this one on because this one's quite uh, this one's quite coarse. You, you may be able to see sort of how how these perform uh, you know, in different uh, different scenarios. But again. Yeah, I can absolutely see that taking uh, some of the uh, excess material off, which I left on, probably by mistake, or at least the, um, you know, the cloth had left on. I can absolutely see that. I don't know if you guys can, 
can make can make that out you can see it taking off the material you know the uh, the polishing uh, uh, solution uh, or the polishing cream I suppose we, uh, we call it to actually get uh, get the kind of finish you're looking for and you know that's that's the kind of surface you're going to end up with which is very very impressive um, I can see that uh, you know many of you could find lots of uses for you know for this kind of this kind of system and you can absolutely do it manually uh, but I, I do think that this addition uh, to uh, you know to the displays um, uh, it's got a liquid solution um, is uh, is an ideal companion so you might want to consider that I um, say so both of these systems are on the store um, separately uh, you can buy the uh, these um, you know these uh, rubbing compounds as they call them uh, but I think we would probably call them polishing uh, uh, as a separate item and of course uh, the um, this actual set itself these are uh, polishing um, uh, sponges um, are also on the store on the store as well um, so together they they kind of represent um, perhaps perhaps maybe uh, a move forward in the way you uh, polish your polish your models um, you may find other uses for these sponges absolutely uh, to, uh, to to clean off material or uh, if you're trying to to maybe create some kind of uh, an, an interesting surface detail on your models um, particularly with um, uh, paint finishes um, I've yet to try these with uh, metallics for instance I really want to have a go with uh, some of the alclads uh, I, I think polishing our clans with this machine would be amazing so if you're doing uh, maybe bare metal um, error for instance you guys um, this system might be an interesting one put the owl clad on and then maybe maybe a gentle polish particularly with one of these machines might give you the kind of finish maybe you simply haven't been able to get before um, using manual systems or um, even with even after the top coat uh, it, it may be the case that uh, this, this system may give you the finish you've uh, you've been looking for so um, that's uh, that's the polishing uh, system from uh, from Dispay. Um, so it's in in, in, in two parts. Um, you, this this the the actual you know, kids themselves are on the store as a separate item. This is on the store as a separate item as well. Um, have a have a think about uh, if you have any questions or any queries about how these things actually work together. Um, obviously, uh, to get this to work, you're going to need one of uh, one of these. Um, but if you already have one and you're looking for some some uh, way to to polish, then maybe this system could be uh, could be an interesting addition to uh, to your uh, to your device. As I said, as always, um, any questions? Uh, if you have any queries about uh, any of these uh, these polishing uh, products? Uh, you know, do uh, do come back to me.